Coming up next, from San Fran Freak Show, the Savage Nation. From Talk 910 KNEW. With Michael Savage, I can relate to him. Weekday afternoons, 3 to 7. Talk 910 KNEW. Warning. The Michael Savage Show contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Here is Michael Savage. Some of the things that I tried to avoid talking about on the Savage Nation today. One was the sneering media. Today I saw the sneering face of the media in all of its ugly creepiness. There's a creep on MSNBC who interviewed Dr. Orly Tates. And Dr. Tates has legitimate questions about the background of Barack Hussein Obama and where he was born. The sneering creep on MSNBC attacked her viciously from start to finish. But it was the sneer. It was a sneer on his face. He knew better. It was a case study in how the media looks down their nose at anyone who challenges their biases. I was one of the first in the media to have Philip Berg on when he raised the same kind of questions about Obama. So even though the empty suits and empty skirts on MSNBC refused to give her a fair hearing, I had her on my show today and have uh, and gave her a friendly forum. She got more listeners here than she ever would have on MSNBC anyway. I want you to listen because I'm going to play some excerpts from this interview. I want you to see just how the media operates, how they bring down the Iron Curtain on anyone that stands in the way of their agenda. Wait till you hear the way this woman was treated by this sneering, creepy David somebody on MSNBC. Of American citizens are saying Obama was not vetted, he needs to be vetted, he needs to provide original birth certificates. The only one that are on the fringe are Obama's brown shirts in the media that insult people and Name would not let, one. let them speak Obama's out. Obama's brown shirts, you're referring you. to, you're making a reference early to Nazi Germany and to a lot of us uh, okay. who lost relatives in the whole country. Exactly, that is deeply, exactly. Deeply your offensive. behavior and behavior. Okay, your behavior is the offenses. Uh, you and Tamron Hall are behaving in an offensive what? manner. You're calling people Sorry. names and you would not listen. You just called me names. You said this is a crazy movement. Oh, the no. only ones that are crazy that are listening to the Obama's lies. Is when she brings up the Holocaust and he says to her, well, for those of us who've lost relatives in the Holocaust, and she reminds him, yeah, like me. And suddenly he's, his calling card was trumped, but he kept sneering and turn redder in the face. All I hear from mainstream media are dumb insults. That's what and culture providing. is not dumb mainstream. Insults. She hates okay, the mainstream. You and, and you oh, are, okay, okay. Let, and me, culture. let me answer. Let me, let me answer. If you don't let people speak up the truth, the truth will come you out. You've got three but seconds, seconds or we're going to have to respectfully end but, this. But, and people like okay, you, go ahead. because, uh, okay, uh, Obama's birth certificate does not show the name of the hospital, and does culture not show says the name of the kind. doctor, Carl and does not show the name and she is that, an we're done. I'm telling you, uh, I listen. You will be done. You will and not Holter be on TV for crying. too long. Yeah, you and uh, I don't care about M. Coulter. What is important is Obama okay. has numerous, uh, numerous social security numbers, and one of them is a social security Orly, maybe number. Maybe we can get to your motivation. With the-, the madness of the media. What do you have to do to make an impact in the media today? What kind of person do you have to be? Well, let's start by looking at the people that the midstream media focuses on now. Michael Jackass, an accused pedophile, a self-mutilator, and a drug addict. He got a month of coverage when he died from a drug overdose. He got a televised memorial service. Talking heads speculating about the cause of his death 24-7. 
Then we had Octomom, eight kids, far more than she knew she could afford to support, when our welfare and is now being given a TV show. Then there's Henry Louis Gates Jr. All he had to do was shout racism, and he got uh, weeks of fawning attention from the left-wingers in the media. These are the kinds of creepy figures who get attention today. Now, I'm not complaining, but what about Michael Savage, a man who only has 10 million people a week who listen to him? A man who was banned by a major Western nation and put on a list with murderers and terrorists for speaking his mind? A man who has had his freedom of speech and freedom of movement stolen from him? A man who has just been profiled by the most respected magazine on arts and culture in the country? What kind of media attention did I get? Nothing. Zero. In another time, New Yorker profiles would have meant instant national recognition, invitations to the White House. Now it gets swept away by the president's most recent town hall meeting. But in-depth profiles, such as the one done on Michael Savage by the New Yorker, are still very important, even if they don't make fixed news or ACDC 360. They are still read by people who matter. They are still read by the thoughtful people in positions of power. I may not have come across to the masses last week, but I got inside the minds of the controlling masses. I get inside the minds of those who control the power structure, and they understand now that there's more to conservatives than Neanderthalism. Believe me, they can't dismiss my ideas as a flash in the pan anymore. I'm not someone who gets on the air and has himself hypnotized or starts eating Chinese food with chopsticks or talks with celebrity sluts and acts more like a hemorrhoid with ears than a commentator. Now, look, I'm not faking it for ratings. I'm the real thing. I cover the whole range of human activities, not just politics. I criticize all political parties equally, not just the demon cats. I'm a man who gets angry and doesn't just speak to you in even tones. I cover what the rest of the media tries to cover up. I don't just cover the front page. I cover the waterfront. It's all starting to come apart for the Obama administration. Today we found out that 58% of Americans don't even believe he's a citizen. And now his minions are being shouted down by angry crowds as they hold health care town hall meetings around the country. Listen to the traitor senator, the turncoat, all on spectator, as he's roundly booed, heckled in Philadelphia, as he tries to tell the people we must rush the health care reform bill through. The current system, which doesn't cover 47 million people. No wonder they're booing him, but wait, it gets worse. A member of the crowd asks the question why congressmen can't read the bill, and Kathleen Sebelius, another Obama hack, gives a prevaricating answer that's amazing. She has the nerve to say, I'm not a, I was never a member of Congress. You've got to listen to this two-faced phony. When congressmen scoff at the notion of reading legislation because they aren't qualified or they aren't competent to understand it, how, how can we be confident that those congressmen are competent to re-engineer the entire health care system? I am, I am not a member of Congress, have never been. Now, here's where Spectre gets right to the point. He says there just isn't time to read the fine print on a bill that will cost $5 trillion. When you have a bill, and we have a lot of them, and there are thousands of pages, and should pay for my tax staff, and we divide up the bill, we have to make judgments very fast. We give them out. Well, 
Thank God Americans are speaking up and shouting out, this is the Savage Nation. I'll be back. The Savage Nation. He has it all covered. Weekday afternoons, 3 to 7. Talk 910. KNEW.